Hello, beautiful people. So today's class was a theme based class versus a peak pose based class. And as we move towards the more um, subtle poses or the subtle themes, the way that we format the wave theory changes a little bit. So when we create a peak pose class, we pick the peak pose and then we work backwards from there. When we pick a theme, we work from the front to the back. And so today's theme was space, also known as ether. It's the most subtle of the five elements. And so the, the first thing I usually do with these kinds of, when it was a theme based class is I write down everything that I know about the theme. And then from there, I usually do a bit of research either in books or with Google. And I write down anything that kind of speaks to me or pulls me or feels relevant to what I want to uh, explore. And then I usually sit with it for a little bit, uh, reading over and then allowing myself to kind of ruminate on the theme for a day or two. The other thing I like to do is I actually like to talk to other people about the theme, gain insight about what their thoughts are, especially space ether being such a subtle one. Next component that I do is I look at everything and then I kind of circle or bold if I'm doing on a laptop l words or phrases that jump out at all the information that I've taken in about the theme. And so what you're seeing here on this page is kind of an amalgamation of everything that I've explored. So um, our, we did actually have a peak pose with a lot of theme based classes. I don't uh, p pick a peak pose. I pick essentially a peak sequence or I pick a body or family of poses that I want to explore. So specifically, I explored uh, standing leg balances and back bends. And my peak pose was um, this variation of revolved sugar cane, also known as Arna Chandra Chapasana. And I picked this pose because space is ever expansive, has the sense of lightness, at least for me, my exploration of it. And so if done properly, this pose helps me to embody those two things. 